Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to download and replace existing files from browsers. Over here, I have a template of uh, freetestdata.com. I want to click on this button and it will prompt me a save as window. So I'm going to input my file path here and then I will click save. In some cases, if I if I were to already download this file, right? And I click the file again. If I replace the same name and I click save, it will prompt for this confirm button. All right. So over here, we uh, we are we are required to handle this portion. So we need to click yes, right? So let's start off with a launch new Chrome. Okay, but instead of me launching new instance, I just want to attach to a running instance and then I will select by URL. Okay, and then from here, right, the next thing what I would like to do is I'm going to click link on web page. Okay, under add UI element, I'm going to go back to my browser here and I look for this red highlighted box, control and left click. Okay, once done, click save. Okay, in some cases, if your clicking doesn't work, what you can do if you add, go to edit portion here, and then you need to enable or edit the information here. All right. So how do we know whether we have the we have selected the correct button? If you go back to the browser, right click the button and go to inspect. Basically, what you are required to do is you need to ensure that you have the correct class. Okay, so. First, we, have, we are going to select this element button text and then the, above it, we have a elementor button content wrapper. So you have to ensure all of the selectors is available until the top here. So if I go back here, right, under my power automate here, I actually have all the section here which already selected under class, early content, and then all the way until down. Okay, and then if I go back to cancel here, since everything is in intact, I'm not going to change anything. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to populate the text field, right? So over here, the moment when I click this button, it prompts a window. Do take note, this is not a browser window. This is a desktop window. All right, so what you need to do if you go back to your power automate here, populate text field in window and i'm going to add a ui element and i will control and left click this portion and i will give a my own file name and my file path all right so after i populate a text in window the next thing is i'm going to click ui element in window which is the save button. So I'm going to add UI element and I will select save. Okay, and then next, I'm going to replicate this to save another file name to get this pop-up window. Then I can program it accordingly. So over here, I copy and paste, double click, and I'm going to add another UI element. And I'm going to click this yes button. Okay and i click save all right just to let you know this uh, confirm save as pop-up window right uh, sometimes the selector may change so let me guide you how to change it if i go to my button yes right i click edit and i go to edit portion here sometimes uh the name of the window may contains confirm so if the window contains confirm, right, the, but the selector we are looking for is safe as if we encounter an error. So what we can do is we change this to contains and we go down to the second selector here. Like this example, I remove the confirm and I change the name to contains. And the button here, what button am I clicking? Over here, it didn't indicate whether it's a yes or no, right? It's not enabled. 
So I'm going to uncheck this, I'm going to uncheck this, and I'm going to select the yes. That means I want to select the yes button. Okay, and I click close. Alright, so let's give it a try. If I go back here, let me close this window. And then let me close this as well. And I go to my demo and run it. Okay, so I encounter an error. Let's, it's okay. Most likely, I accidentally click something just now. If I run it again, and we download the file successfully. So over here, it's quite uh, tricky, right? What if your selector uh, is not correct? You may have issues when clicking on the edit file name or save button right so actually there's a shortcut way what you can do is from here instead of me do a lot of clicking and typing right what i can do is i get the details of the element on web page so what am i getting is i'm going to get the button here the u the url of this button so if i go here right basically there's actually a url if I go here, it will prompt me automatically. So, what I will do is from here, I will get details of element on the web page. It will return me a variable of attribute value, right? So, I'm going to delete this. And with this attribute value, what I'm going to use is to download from web. And then I will indicate the URL, which is the attribute value. And the method is get and i want to get the safe response safe to this and i whether i i can decide whether i want to keep the original file name or i can specify the full file path so over here i'm going to indicate the full file path here click save and then over here just to let you know with this action right there is no need for you to cater a logic to click on the replace button it will be able to do it automatically so if i click save right let me show you an example let me delete this file okay and then if i run this flow okay let me see what is it invalid what is the attribute value okay we got it wrong okay so from here right get details of element on the web page i go to advanced i need to change this to href okay and then i run again All right, if I go back here, I've downloaded the file successfully. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop.